So, today is another day, but not any day. It's the part two of uh, the silver grey salmon fly that, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, about time to finish it. So, uh, no more talk. Let's just do it. So, let's start tying. Uh, second part of the silver grey. Uh, so now it's time for the uh, tippets. Just gonna match them. Actually, look really nice. Not bad at all. But first, uh, let's apply some wax. I just carefully look, they are much paired again. So, I want to have this quite long, to be honest with you guys. It's going to be a long fly. So I'm going to put the whole shabam on it. Looking good. So let's make sure it's completely centered. Almost. Just gonna move a few millimeters. There we are. As I want it. Straight on top. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some varnish on here and wait a little bit. Uh, and the reason for me doing it quite long is uh, I added quite a big tail, as you can see. But now it fills out, and then when you put the wing on, it's gonna be quite long as well. And gonna be a nice flow. Okay, uh, time to apply the wing then. Uh, so let me just take it out. I prepared this one a few days ago. Actually last week. So let me just pick it up. Pair them. As you see, here it is. That's the wing I'm gonna use. And as I mentioned, I'm gonna make this uh, one quite long. Somewhere there, and I see it's sitting well on the other side as well. So let's apply this wing then. I'm just going to carefully mount it.
here tight the wraps putting some pressure on it and there I let it go and it did compact the wrong the wrong way so I'm gonna reset it I think it did slip on one side let me see that one got stuck so it's gonna play with the wings a bit more I think it might be tension in them. So, just pairing it up. Just gonna see, I have this one where I want it. Yes. Still looking good. Just gonna build up a little bit here. The thread. There we are. So we're gonna be a bit more careful. it again let it slip down Hacking is always in the way. I think we have a better start here. There we go. So now I can work. Work on the wing. Curling a bit. Let me see what we can do. That one going to split. It's trying to marry.
that my go. So I just need to move this one down a bit. <coughs> Maybe I should reset it anyhow. Yeah, I do it the third time. No biggie. I'm gonna set it lower. There we go. And I'm gonna wet this one again. I don't want it to interfere. It's gonna dry anyhow. And there we go. Because I did see a split on this side. Now it should be better, hopefully. Just applying some some thread there to hold it in place. I want to push this one through. Not sure if it's let, letting me doing that. Let me do that. So let's take this side as well. Better. We'll do the same on this side. a bit still a bit curvy but got a little bit of split there normally I would, would sort that out but for the sake of um, the length of this video, I'm going to continue. So I'm just going to prepare the sides that's going on this, uh, this silver grain. And then uh, we start again. So I was speeding up a bit. So this side has all uh, the things attached. So it's uh, now time for the other side. First of all, I'm gonna wax the thread. I 
then it's time for bedded wood deck and pintail or teal, whatever you got the tans. So let me just add that one. Might need to tilt everything a bit more, or I just take my hand there. There we go. So it's in place. I just need to work on the wings a bit there. Um, the wings are not my friend today. So, mallard. Same here, a few wraps with the thread. left on my side is easy let's go find a nice one not too small so I just cut the sides of it I'm gonna measure, yeah, they're equal. So, bit of wax to the thread. There we go. I can put the yeast in where I want it. sufficient so a few ramps with the back thread the GC is on as you can see and same there so what I'm gonna do now is to just uh, varnish a little bit and then uh, I'm gonna cut all the leftovers so it's time for the topping. It's not gonna be the nicest uh, silver gray I've done in my life, <laughs> but yeah, it's okay. I'm just preparing the topping a bit. Thread is waxed. I want it somewhere there. A few wraps. The topping is doing just fine. As you can see, I have all the flow on this side, so I'm just going to lift it and change it a bit. Just 
pretty, pretty okay. And add some more wax to the thread just to make sure we can tie it in properly. There we go. So last step, horn, the horns. Uh, I forgot to get the Macau one second. So I did find the Macau. That was it. pretty good. So I'm just gonna attach it. Just trying to align them. There we go. Somewhere there. So I'm just gonna raise this one a little bit. Tying it in and uh, yeah, somewhere there. So I just need to make sure to align them a bit more. Somewhere there. So I'm just gonna finish off the head, uh, take a picture, and then uh, this uh, silver gray is done. The great fishing pattern. So that's how you tie this uh, silver gray. Uh, very nice fishing fly, as I mentioned. Uh, fun fly to tie. Uh, you have it all in it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, even if it, you know um, it didn't turn out uh, perfect. Uh, rarely <laughs> doing that when tying a, a video. Um, yeah. However, uh, subscribe, hit the thumbs thumbs up, uh, share the video, and uh, see you in the next one. Take care. Okay.